Welcome back to McNulty's Book Corral, and here we go again with another vintage retro paperback, except this one is really exciting for me because this is a book that, believe it or not, I had not read before. It's Hoodlums by George Benet, who wrote this under the pen name of John Eagle, and it has been republished by Stark House Press, and yes, I'll have a, here comes a, a scan popping up on the screen right here. And Hoodlums uh, was published in uh, 1953, sold half a million copies. Um, George Benet, um, I'm not aware that he wrote other books from this period. Uh, this was a big hit for him, and then he returned to writing, I think, in the 1970s. Um, and I, uh, <clears throat> I have to tell you, um, I don't know how this slipped under my radar. I've looked. I, I don't have a copy of it. Um, I may have read it. 45 years ago. I'm not sure. I know when I reread this, this is from Stark House Press under the Black Gat Books imprint. Um, and uh, there were elements of, of it that were familiar to me, so I may have encountered it somewhere. Um, but those elements that were familiar to me could have been because they were copied by other writers. I don't know. I'm going to, I count this as a new read for me. It's a retro find. Um, I love that when that happens because I hadn't I hadn't read it, and this is this is going to be one of the books of the year for me. Um, thank you, Stark House Press, uh, for their uh, their Black Gap uh, imprint. I love the fact that they did this in about the original size. You know, here's here's a Bruno Fisher, you know, pretty close to the original paperback size, what they used to call pocket paperbacks, and. Uh, this book is really hard-boiled. It's about a guy who gets out of prison. He goes back. He's in Chicago, and he uh, wants to uh, he wants to make it with this one a dame, uh, and he uh, uh, needs money. He's down on his luck, and the guy that set him up, he meets up with, and he foolishly gets involved again in some other events, which leads to a really interesting um, narrative. I have to tell you, this is there are no square-jawed heroes with dimples on their chin. Or any of that, or a cleft chin. None of that's in this book. This is about uh, seamy, unappealing people, but it's so beautifully written. Uh, Hard boiled classic all the way. Really, I'm so happy that I discovered it, and that would have not have happened without Stark House Press. Um, I understand from talking to some book dealers that the original, if you can find it, uh, is a little pricey. I looked on eBay and I didn't see any copies except this one. Uh, and I didn't check Abe books yet, but, uh, e either way I have this and that's what counts. So I love these reprints. Um, so let me give you an example. I'm going to read you a line from the book to give you an example of the quality of the writing. So I'm not going to tell you, I'm holding the book down. I'm not going to tell you where this appears in the book. So here's the line. Listen to this. Kirk could feel consciousness slip from his fingers like silk. From a strip teaser's leg. Right? <laughs> this is fantastic. Now, and this book is loaded with these imagistic, uh, uh, startling uh, statements and in, in, in lines that uh, that's the hallmark of great um, hard-boiled pulp fiction. Uh, and this meets this meets it all the way. This this meets the criteria. It's a classic. This is why it's reprinted. Um, George Benet writing as John Eagle. Hoodlums. Um, what a great book. This is my vintage paperback pick. A retro find thanks to Black Ant Books and Stark House Press. And you, stay well, stay happy, feed your brain, and read a book. <laughs>